it's an MMP 15 OR Optics Ready Edition. Thought I'd just go ahead and put this quick little review video out there for some of the upgrades that I decided to go ahead and put on my rifle. Um, first off, I went ahead and went with the Vortex Spark Red Dot. Um, I was going to go with one of the higher name brand ones, but with what they were charging, I'd go ahead and rather just probably buy another handgun or something like that. So I went with this one, did pretty much most of my research on YouTube. Um, it looks like they put it through the paces, and it's a definitely nice red dot. Works for what I needed to do. It does have the full um, two times magnifier that screws right onto the back of it. Um, with that set up there, you know, you could definitely put a 10 shot group through a quarter at about 25 yards with no problem. Um, this one also does have the full night vision on it. Um, also, it has about 10 levels of brightness. I don't think you need that many, but they're definitely there if you'd like to use them. Now, I also decided to go ahead and go with the Troy Industries um, folding front and rear dioptic uh, battle sights, which co-witness um, very well with the red dot as you can see right there um, also I decided to go ahead and go with the Mako Group Fab Defense G2 which is the rotating bipod it's the redesign of the one that they came out before um, this one's a lot nicer I think um, has the finger grips on the front I also went with the grip um, from Mako Group which when you hold them together they, it really feels real nice gives it a real uniform feel. Like I said, this one also does have the full rotating top on it. I'll see if I can show you that. Um, you know, like I said, it swivels from left to right. And it also rotates a little bit on the side, just if you want to adjust it just a little bit. Also, um, it's relatively nice and easy to use with one hand. All you do is squeeze it together, drops down, and it's locked. Um, push the button. If you push it without holding the sides, um, it'll open in the low position for you. Um, to get it to the long position, just squeeze it together and it opens in the long position. Or you can hold it together and push it and it'll open straight to the long position. Um, but like I said, it's definitely, definitely a nice bipod. Um, I haven't had the option to shoot with it yet, but I think it'll only help. Um, like I said, um, I also went with the Magpul UBR or the Utility Battle Rifle 6 position adjustable sock. Um, it comes with a little door here but I took it off just to make it a little bit easier to adjust it. And um, as you can see the cheek weld does stay there. Also plenty of reviews online if you want to check that out as well. Um, but this is my Smith & Wesson MMP 15 OR with some upgrades. So um, post your comments, let me know what you think. Thanks for your time.